Hello again guys, um, this time I'm going to do a quick video about tomato clownfish and just clownfish in general. Um, when you're trying to get a clownfish, um, you're most likely going to try to get an anemone. And um, in my experience, the best thing to do is get the clownfish um, with the anemone where they're already paired up. Because unfortunately, when I got him with another anemone that he really liked, um, the anemone kind of had a messed up foot when we got it and it didn't want to attach itself to anything which is uh, what anemones are supposed to do. They're supposed to uh, clamp on and they, they can actually move around the tank freely like this one we started it, uh, it was like down there and they just moved all the way up here. They will like move around your tank until they're find, they find their optimal spot for uh, food and just uh, lighting in general. But, um, so when the other anemone didn't make it, uh, he was just kind of back there by himself, and then uh, we thought that, hey, if we put in another anemone, he'll just uh, go in there and just uh, have a new anemone, but he's never touched this one. And then we thought, well, maybe it's the coloration is not the same, and we got another anemone that was a similar color to the old one, and he still hasn't uh, gone in there, and it's kind of funny, there's an anemone here an anemone here but he never goes inside of them and actually once in a while you'll see him go into these corals right here and kinda like rub himself in it like he thinks it's an anemone which is totally mind-bending but just uh, keep in mind that uh, clownfishes are attached to uh, anemones and even if you get him by himself and you already have an anemone in your tank he might not uh, go in it at all so uh, just keep that in mind when you're going out to uh, shop for uh, clownfishes. And uh, and uh, clownfishes, they're very, very easy to keep. They're very tough fish. So if, you, if you're having trouble with your water, um, just uh, if it's not like the most, uh, the best water around, you should be able to keep a, a clownfish in there because it is some of the hardiest uh, species of fish. Uh, this is why you see clownfish being so popular is because when the saltwater aquarium market first started, a lot of the fish they were putting in their tanks when they didn't understand uh, all of the water, um, all of the water uh, chemistry, uh, a lot of uh, the other fishes were dying, but the clownfish always made it through. And this is why when the salt aquarium hobbies first started, you saw a lot of clownfishes and with a lot of anemones, uh, just because... Uh, not to say that anemones are very hardy, but uh, uh, if you're looking to get an anemone, you should probably wait until at least uh, at least six months where your tank is running and everything's good. So if you're planning on getting a uh, a tomato clown or just a clownfish or maybe three different clownfishes that are smaller than this guy and with a, an anemone, uh, just remember to try and get everything at the same time and especially look for... Um, clownfishes who when you're in a fish store are already hanging out inside an anemone and you just buy both of them at the same time and if you're trying to have uh, a, a pair of clownfish maybe so you can grow juveniles then uh, try and buy a pair online too because it's it's very hard to tell the sex of a uh, of a fish so if you buy a a pair of clownfish where you know for a fact that one is a male one is a female and then on top of that, you have an anemone, then they should have no problem uh, staying together inside your tank when you first introduce them. So uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. So don't go out there and buy an anemone and then buy a clownfish later on. They might never get along. So just a little warning for you guys. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. And uh, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on anything else. Uh, this is uh, Huma Huma Fish, and uh, have a good day.